What is up guys, welcome back to Mr. Tech Boss. Xiaomi EU weekly update has just dropped. So without any further ado, let's get to the changes. And is it a ROM still worth trying out on your Redmi K20 Pro? All right, so guys, before we get started, please make sure to like this video and subscribe for more updates on ROM related stuff for Redmi K20 Pro. So now that you've done that, let's get started all right so guys firstly let's get to the basics and the change log and stuff so if we go into all specs and it still has the same change log as last week but actually as i said before or actually i didn't there aren't a lot of changes so if we go into the what's new section so as you can see it is mostly it's mostly just bug fixes and stuff like that and there aren't any new features as per se but like this one you can write basic information about your health to be able to yeah this is the only feature i've been able to find other than that it is basically almost the same as last week but yeah still i'm gonna go over the features that were there so if you haven't watched the last few videos you can continue watching this one so if we go back and into display there um actually if you go into lock screen there are new charging animations and this was actually last week as a, as well so i am discussing those features again but yeah there is this new feature that's been added now guys by the way if you're wondering which rom to try out for your redmi k20 pro which miui rom you want to try out so i would say go with masik i'll be uploading a video soon of that rom too so stay tuned and make sure to subscribe so yeah other than that let's go into battery i i actually don't know what to tell because i just installed this rom a couple of hours ago but if you're getting if you're getting like decently if you're actually getting really bad uh idle drain i would say clean flash this rom and format your internal storage that is actually the only fix that i've found to fix the idle drain so just format your everything internal storage and everything and clean flash this rom so yeah that's gonna be uh, that's probably gonna fix your idle drain problems if you are facing any now guys feature wise that is basically about it if you're wondering what the home screen options they've given us so let's go over them so in terms of layout you can go up to six by seven and on masik it's six by eight if you're wondering six by eight but yeah now i'm gonna show you quickly so if you haven't watched my previous video you should know that there are these new animations that have been added so they added port of this fingerprint unlock animations from straight from redmi k30 pro k30 pro so that is a great thing they've added and it it just feels faster i don't know why but i guess that's due to the animation or something but it just feels faster so now let's quickly do the super fast app opening test so where i open a couple of apps in first round slowly so let's open the app slowly first and then i quickly go and to speeding them up and then quickly do some multitasking and stuff like that if like or to, to simulate a real life usage so so far i've found masik is the best rom in terms of smoothness like i found out when switching between apps there are the least frame drops especially if you're like a heavy multitasker and switch between apps a lot and in a short span of time you will expect you should expect uh, frame drops in xiaomi u and whereas on masik they're going to be way less but this is not a Masik versus MIUI comparison. I'm just saying Xiaomi EU is not the best MIUI 12 ROM. It is actually Masik that I've found so far. So if you want the best one, go for Masik because it has the least frame drops. So there are actually a lot more frame drops I can see already and stutters and stuff like that on this ROM. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to soon make an installation video for all of you guys who are beginners and stuff. So a quick like a proper guide for you all but yeah if you want to know how to install this rom i'll leave a link to the video on top right so go ahead and go to the installation section or you can go through the time codes and see where the installation is but yeah that is basically about uh, this xiaomi eu if you want me to talk about special sir, specific things on xiaomi eu updates because i do these weekly at least for now because it's in beta so i want you guys to be up to date up to date but yeah if you're still watching thank you please make sure to subscribe this is Rosella Metromis, Tech Boss, signing off. Thank you.